In this video, you are going to learn how to get MySQL image from Docker Hub. Once after getting the image, how to create container for that MySQL image. After creating the container, obviously it will be up and running. And we will try to stop the service of MySQL and then we will restart it. Just to learn how to start and how to stop MySQL container. And then finally I will show you how to connect to MySQL database. Let's start. First of all, let me start the service of docker process sudo systemctl start docker docker service is started. To know whether the service is started or not, I will use the same command but instead of start, I will use status. This will tell me whether the process is successfully running or not. And here the green color active running shows that our process is successfully up and running. Now it's time to pull MySQL image from Docker Hub. Before that I'll show you whether I'm having MySQL image in my local repository or not. In case if we are having the same image in local repository, then we need not to pull. I'll just show you sudo docker images. This will show all the images that I am having in local repository. I am not having any kind of image, not at least one. So I am going to pull my first image MySQL image from Docker Hub. How to do that? It's a simple command. sudo docker pull MySQL. And the tag name is latest. It means that we are asking Docker Hub to give us the MySQL latest version. Even you can skip this latest tag, even though you will get the latest version of MySQL. Not a problem at all. Pulling started, it takes little bit of time to finish the pulling. Now we successfully got the MySQL image from Docker Hub to our mission. Let us test the image now. sudo docker images. This will list all the images in our local repository, that means in our computer. This is what we have downloaded, MySQL and the tag name is latest. This is the image ID that will be given during the image download. And every image in the Docker Hub will have its own image ID. The file that we have downloaded that means that we have pulled from Docker Hub was last modified 37 hours ago. It means it is very much latest. The size of the file is 524 MB. All right, now it's time to create a container for the image that we have pulled from the Docker Hub. Image is simply a compressed file. Now we need to create a container. Container is an instance of the file that we have pulled from Docker Hub. In simple words, container is a memory in which our MySQL application has to run. We need to create a container first and then only we can start running our MySQL application. Let's start. To create any container, we need to use the command run. Run is the command. And the following are the parameters which are very important in case of MySQL. The first one is P stands for port. There are two types of ports we need to issue here. One is external port and other is internal port. External port is used from the outside of the container. And within the container or within the machine if you want to interact with the MySQL then internal port has to be given. In both the cases we can issue the same port. The default port of MySQL is 3306 but in my case I am issuing 13306 for external port, 3306 for internal port. Now it's time to give name for our container. To provide name, iPhone, iPhone name, the name that whatever the name that you wanted to give for the container you can give. In my case I am giving it as my MySQL. By default, we will be getting a root user. We need to set password for the root user. To set password for root user, iPhone e mysql underscore root underscore password equals to. Here is a place where we need to issue the password that we want. In my case, I am giving my name. The last but not the least one, iPhone d means detach. Means we are asking our Docker system to run our MySQL container in the background. We want this service in the background, not on the foreground. We want this to be running as a server so that it can serve any number of requests that we send from the outside of the machine. 
So I F N D means detach. The last argument is nothing but the name of the image that we have pulled from Docker Hub. The name of the image is MySQL and the tag is latest. This entire command is going to create a container for us. Container is created. Let's test whether the created container is up and running for us or not. To do this, sudo docker ps is a command which will list out all the containers in our docker mission, whatever the containers that are up and running. You can see that the container name, the image is MySQL latest and this is the container ID. The container name is provided in as the last parameter, my MySQL. And this is a port which is used for external purpose and this is a port that is used for internal purpose. And you can see the status of this container is up and it is running since from 17 seconds ago. Now it's time to shut down our container and restart it. Because you, we need to learn how to shut down this running container and how to start this container. Because since the container is created just now, it will be obviously up and running. The moment you have shut down your computer, all the containers will exit, will exit from the container. And again, when you restart your computer and whenever you want your container to start, you need to know this command. That is the reason why I'm shutting down the MySQL container, which is up and running now. I'm shutting down and then I'll restart it again. To do this, sudo docker stop the name of the container, my mysql. Now your docker mission is trying to stop the service, my mysql. It's nothing but a container. It takes very little time to stop the service because it is up and running. All right now. Now I'll execute sudo docker ps to test whether are there any running containers or not. It is showing me nothing because already which is up and running MySQL service is now closed. It is shut down. Let's restart now. To restart, to start the service, the same command can be used sudo docker. Instead of stop, I have used start now, my MySQL. Let's again check it out the status, sudo docker ps. Yes, now it is up and running just four seconds ago because we just started this one. All right. To connect to MySQL database that is up and running as a container inside the Docker machine, we need MySQL client. We need to install MySQL client, which is a small client side service to make connection to the MySQL server. In order to make create connection to the server, we need MySQL client, which is a command line interface to connect to the MySQL server sudo apt install mysql hyphen client. So this command will install mysql client automatically, which is a very small downloadable file that will be automatically downloaded and installed in your computer. Within fraction of seconds, it will be completed. Less than one minute it takes to install this simple software, mysql client. In my case, I already have this one. That's why I'm not hitting enter. In order to create connection, once after MySQL client is done in your computer, then we can start issuing this command. MySQL hyphen hyphen host equals to, this is loopback address. In order to connect to our own computer, any service like database service or application service, if we wanted to connect from, because our server is running in our own machine, so as to create connection to our own machine, we need to use loopback address. Host can be used as the name localhost or in, in terms of IP address, we can give it as 127.0.0.1. Next argument, port. The port that I am going to use is 13306, which I have given for as an external port. Ifen, Ifen port equals to 13306. And then the default user at the first installation will get root user. I'm going to use the root user and later you can create any number of users inside the database. So initially, so as to show you the successful connection, I'm using the root user, iPhone P password. Here we need to enter the password that we have given during creation of container. In my case, I've given my name. We have successfully connected to MySQL. You can see that MySQL interface has come here. So here I can execute the commands like show databases. These are the list of uh, databases that we got uh, through basic installation. 
and we can create a database create database test now show databases so test is the one which we have created see here using docker how simple it is to create mysql server in our machine it's not an easy task in case of windows or in case of linux without the help of docker it's not an easy process to download mysql and to install this entire process whatever i have shown you will complete in less than two minutes it will not take not more than two minutes in, in case if you have good internet connection everything can be done within two minutes you can set up your mysql server ready irrespective of type of operating system that you are having that's it we are done